Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows Upgrade or Windows Update Error Code 0xc190010a that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 computer, where it says that there is an unknown command line error and that the installation process was launched with an unknown command line argument. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial on how to resolve this error message and we're going to go about how to do that. So the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the start menu, type in services, best result should come back with services, so go ahead and left click on that to open it up. First thing you want to do is locate the background intelligent transfer service, so go ahead and double click on that. If service type is set to manual, go ahead and click inside the drop down and select automatic. And if service status is stopped, you want to select the start button. If it was already started and running, you would want to stop it and then just start it up again. So if it was already set to automatic and it was stopped, such as in this situation, you just would go ahead and select the start option to start it back up. And you want to do the same exact thing for the Windows Update service. So we scroll down and locate Windows Update and double click on it. Startup type, set that to automatic. Service status, we're going to start that. And then you would select apply and OK. And then hopefully at that point that would be able to resolve the problem. Close it here. Another thing we can go ahead and try would be to open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word with that forward slash out front ahead of it. So then once you have it exactly how it appears on my screen, hit enter on your keyboard to begin running this scan. It will take a few minutes to run and just please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, just close it here. Restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.